It's common that humans have weird habits, but have you ever heard of or seen any animal which has its own strange habits? There are quite a number of videos on the internet that make us laugh involving animals acting strangely. They can be funny as well as mysterious, revealing that animals have their own unique quirks just like us. In today's video, we're going to show you a few different and bizarre animal behaviors which have a simple explanation behind them. Stay tuned! Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. So, let's get started! Snakes can yawn Every now and then you feel sleepy, your body responds with a yawn. In nature, yawns may represent something completely different. For example, when snakes yawn, it's not because they're bored to death. There can be three different reasons. 1. They're preparing their jaws to eat a larger prey. The structure of their jaws is connected by ligaments which allows them to separate them and eat their catch. So, yawning is a way of stretching that muscle. The second explanation is that they are collecting information about the environment in order to know if prey is near. They have a vomero nasal organ in their mouths, known as Jacobson's organ, that works together with their tongue, almost tasting the air to identify animals they can eat. So they yawn to gather these cues. The third option is sadder, because yawning can be a sign of disease. They can suffer illnesses because of the animals that they eat, which can lead to symptoms of bacterial or fungal infections. Fleming response Have you ever seen a smiling horse? They can be the target for a lot of online jokes. The truth is that similar to the yawn of the snake, a smiling horse means that they're utilizing their vomero nasal organ to capture better scent of the environment. Called Fleming response, this behavior is identified where the animals curl back their upper lip and inhale with their nostrils closed. Usually, they stay still during some time. They may seem like they're smirking or laughing. This behavior is shown in a lot of different species such as giraffe, elephants, tigers, tapirs, zebras, goats, etc. For instance, sheep use it to identify reproductive behavior, whereas in antelope it serves to synchronize the reproductive status in females. For horses, it can be used to smell the newborn after birth, as well as identify immature behavior, something that it shares with elephants. Though horses are not the only ones, they are certainly the funniest ones. Snorting horses Another little behavior that people have noticed is when horses snort. People often assume that it happens when they're happy, although knowing when a horse is happy is not as easy as assuming when your cat is happy because it's purring. There are two theories. One of them is supported by a study that demonstrated that snorting happens more in less stressful environments, and it was usually accompanied by positive signs such as forward-pointing ears. The second theory says it can be caused by negative emotions, taking into account that when adrenaline increases, horses' noses tend to dry, which is the reason why they snort afterwards along with trying to warn other horses. However, it's true that horses are also in pastures that snort way more than the ones being locked in a stall, so maybe it is a sign of happiness and contentment? Skunks Skunks have one of the best defense systems in the entire animal kingdom, but they're not impolite. When they're going to attack, they try to inform the victim of their possible attack. They give a lot of different signs and opportunities for the victim to escape. First, they put their tail in the air, trying to warn that they see you and they will attack if you don't leave. After that, they start doing what seems like a weird dance, stomping their front feet. If you don't go, they'll start moving rapidly by charging, stomping and dragging their body. Though it can seem funny, it's their way to scare you before having to use their secret weapon. You really don't want to watch the show until the end because afterwards they'll turn their body into a U-shape and that's when it's going to smell funny. The odor is not the worst thing, taking into account that it can cause temporal blindness, so the free show can cost you. Bearded Dragons Bearded dragons are amazing and beautiful creatures that have that weird habit of moving their arm in a kind of robotic way, as if they're saying, hello, human. But the reason behind this movement is way different. With this behavior, they're showing some kind of submission, affirming that they respect you and believe that you're stronger and bigger than them. Don't take it as a compliment, they just want to let you know they accept you and want to make sure you know it. It not only happens towards humans, but also to other bearded dragons, giving them some kind of dominance over the others. A lot of people thought that only females could wave, but in reality, both sexes do it. Although it is a typical behavior, it's not normal that a bearded dragon waves all the time. 
It could be a sign of them being scared, thus causing a lot of stress in them that could later result in their death. So be careful if a bearded dragon is always saluting you. Perhaps you're not to be trusted. Raccoons A huge number of people think that raccoons like to wash their food before eating, even though they're well known for their not-so-hygienic habits. However, this is absolutely incorrect. The truth is that raccoons use their hands a lot because they have more touch receptors there than any other part of their body. They even use their hands to see, not only for moving in the dark but also foraging underwater and feeling under overhangs. Their paws front is extremely sensitive and some researchers affirm that water increases the sensibility. So when a raccoon is washing their food, it's just trying to gain information using its hands that can help them see better. It's more like feeling it. It's very interesting because they even rub their hands together when they're not holding anything, like a supervillain plotting global domination. Mini Pigs Pigs love to plow, even those who are not in the wild. Their instinct is absolutely mind-blowing. For these little creatures, plowing on non-existent soil is really something they dig. It doesn't matter which surface, it can even be their owner's arm. Although some people may use them in gardening, these babies seem to do it just for fun. There are even some products developed just for their plowing necessities. Another amazing fact is that pigs react to food in a very interesting way. They look as if they have rabies and foam around their mouths. Don't worry, it's not a sickness. In fact, this shows that they're healthy and ready to eat. So if you see a pig with a foaming mouth, just feed it and it'll be absolutely grateful. Tarantulas Talking about weird pets, tarantulas have become an increasingly popular pet to have at your home. But be careful because you really need to pay attention to the signs, especially when they're stressed out. Although it depends on the species, a common behavior that's seen is flicking of the hair all over their body. If you find a tarantula scary, this sight is absolutely terrifying. It's a common defense mechanism they use. Another sign of stress can be when they try to hide behind their own legs, curling them into their body and putting them in front of their face. For some people, this can seem cute or just straightforward scary. Chinchilla Water bath? Mud bath? No, chinchillas prefer dust baths. If there's a creature that enjoys baths, it's a chinchilla. They absolutely love taking dust baths. In fact, this is how chinchillas keep their coats clean and healthy, and they're a ton of fun. It not only relaxes them, but also makes their fur real smooth and silky. They start rolling one after the other, covering their whole bodies in dust. If you're having a bad day, just look up videos of these cute little critters having the time of their life while taking their favorite type of bath. It's worth your time. Crows We've all heard about cats that leave dead animals in front of their owner's door as a gift for them, but what about other kinds of gifts? This woman has developed a friendship with crows only based on gifts they give to each other. Yes, you heard that right, they are crows, a scary animal that tortured Edgar Allan Poe a few years ago. In this case, the woman and the crows are best friends. She leaves tricks for them outside her window and they bring different kinds of stuff in return. Jewelry, pieces of metal, etc. This behavior, surprisingly, is not strange. These birds are quite intelligent and enjoy this stuff. Cockroaches Cockroaches are one of the most fascinating yet horrible creatures on the entire planet, but the Madagascar hissing cockroach is something very special. Besides being absolutely horrendous with their shiny brown oval shape and their large horns, which are used for battles between males, they make this loud hissing noise. The hiss not only represents having a higher hierarchy, but is also implemented for mating rituals and as an effective alarm cry. In contrast to other animals who create this similar sound by rubbing parts of their body, these cockroaches exhale air through their breathing holes in order to create the hiss. On rare occasions, this sound can be produced by a lot of cockroaches, just like a choir in a church. Fighting Fox Foxes are wild animals that need to grow up very fast in order to defend themselves and be able to survive. That's why, as they're growing, they start behaving very strangely. They have so much energy throughout the day, just like people on caffeine. They're basically uncontrollable. It's very hard to be near this animal when they're so intense. Not only the molars start appearing, but their hormones go crazy. They're not aggressive, but they just don't know what to do with their energy, so they'll start biting everything they can. If kids give you headaches and you wish they had an off button, then don't even bother dealing with these little fellas. Smoking Elephant A smoking elephant? It seems this elephant needs a group to stop her smoking habit. 
Some scientists have confirmed that the reason why she's smoking, or appears to, is because she's eating some type of charcoal. After she puts the charcoal in her mouth, she exhales a plume of what seems like smoke. It's very typical to find wood charcoal in the forest where this video was taken. But why is she doing it? Charcoal is more known for its ability to bind with toxins and work as a laxative. Perhaps the elephant was doing something that her nature was requiring in that moment, kind of like detoxifying herself. This is not the first animal to do this. For instance, colobus monkeys use it as well to counteract toxins in some of the food they eat. Just like medical laxative for humans, charcoal can be a sort of wildlife medicine for animals. Parrots Parrots are great animals whose behavior can be really funny to watch sometimes. But have you ever asked why they move their heads like they're in a disco and having the time of their lives? The truth is that it can be for a lot of different reasons. It can be because they want food or attention or they're angry or excited. It can be that they just want to get close to you. However, even if some people deny it, parrots can follow the beat and move their heads with the sound of music. So if you see a parrot dancing, perhaps they're just doing that. Another strange behavior is when they seem like they're shivering. Have you ever seen a parrot having Parkinson's? Well, they're not really suffering from that. It's just like a tick that starts from a very young age when their mother used to feed them. It's a reflex that stuck with them, just like when you move your legs or hands when you're anxious. Woman sleeping with a python Well, it's common to sleep with your pet. Who doesn't love to feel the fur of our dogs or hearing the purr of a cat while sleeping? However, if your pet is a python, you should be thinking twice about making it your bedtime companion. Not long ago, a random case appeared on the internet about a woman who was sleeping with her python every single night until she noticed that the animal was losing weight. When she went to the vet, she found the reason why. Pythons don't usually eat, but when they do, they lose a ton of weight in order to be able to eat more. So the vet told her that perhaps her huge pet was planning to eat her. Surprising? Well, that's a python for you. Just don't have them at your house if you value your life. Buy a fish instead. What do you think about the animals that we've mentioned? Would you prefer to be at dinner for a python or watch a chinchilla diving in the dust bath? Or maybe dancing with a parrot? Let us know in the comments and before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more amazing content. See you again!